Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Dereni from VG247 and let me tell you, I'm no stranger to the you lose screen in fighting games. I've seen so many defeats and it seems no matter how hard I've tried in the past, I just can't seem to get good at fighting games. The only fighting game I'm decent at is Super Smash Bros Ultimate and when I tell people that they hit me with the, yeah but we don't actually class that as a fighting game. So as you can see, I just can't win but that might change with Guilty Gear Strive. Fighting games have always had a basic tutorial in them. Here's how to punch, kick, and do a special move. And you're like, oh, yeah, okay, that's great. And Guilty Gear does this as well. It has this tutorial as soon as you open the game. You play the tutorial and you play a few games against the CPU and think, you know what? I've got this in a bag. Let me go online and slap some people up only to be met by players who have been playing fighting games since the first ever Street Fighter. They start doing moves against you that you didn't even know were possible, taking back-to-back -back victories against you and leaving you feeling disheartened and that makes you not want to touch fighting games for a while, which is a bad thing. The thing with fighting games is they're like icebergs, the tip and what you can see on the surface, that is the tutorial but submerged below is where the depth is. Frame advantage, whiff punish, cross up, conversions, hit confirm, meet the attacks are only some examples. A lot of fighting games deeper mechanics are never really explained but this brings us to the point of this video. Gone are the days of looking up tutorials on YouTube and say hello to the missions section in Guilty Gear Drive. It's located in the dojo and me personally I've never seen anything like this before and this is why now is a great time to learn fighting games. Yeah, street Street Fighter has challenges that teach you a few combos but that's not really teaching you the game. The missions in Guilty Gear aim to teach players every aspect of the game, not just the combos but the how, why and when. One star missions will teach players the basics of fighting games, two stars for controls and strategies, three stars for unique Guilty Gear techniques and mechanics, four star to level up and become an expert and five star for high level tech to increase your win rate. Let's hop in and I'll show you an example of how that looks. So you go into the dojo, missions. And this is where knowledge is power. So, as I said, the first one teaches you the basics of fighting games. That's your one stars. We're not going to do one star. Let's do, let's go to the main ship. Let's do three stars. And what do we want to learn? What do we want to learn? Look at all of this. It teaches you everything. Okay, let's start with something simple. Let's do a special move cancel. So this is your guide, it, it tells you what needs to be done. So it says perform the following combo. So it's heavy slash into bandit revolver. The trick to landing the special move is to input the special move's directional motion before the heavy slash lands. Press the corresponding attack button once you've confirmed that the heavy slash lands. So it basically wants you to hit confirm. So it says play sample. Say for example, you just wanna know what it does. You can make the CPU do it. So you have an example simple give it a shot absolutely press square to start so you just go that's it so if you look under my health bar you'll see the five cogs those cogs basically you have five tries to get this done you need three for a pass if you don't get three you fail and it won't count as a clear so let's do this quickly See, this one's pretty simple, it's just good. But the reason it makes you do it so many times is because it it wants you to know this like the back of your hand, which I think is good. It reinforces you doing it properly, making sure that you actually understand what you're doing. Not just you got it once, you know how to do this. So I'll show you what it looks like if you fail. So if you do Bandit Bringer instead, fail. Gun flame fail but still pass because i got all three and then at the end the guy tells you some extra bits which is really good um to take your gameplay to the next level practice changing a special move you cancel into depending on if your previous attack has been blocked or not once again speaking about hit confirming you're gonna be like what does that really mean but there's a tutorial for that which i'll show you do take note that certain special moves cannot be cancelled into so I'll show you what I mean. So in the mission selection, you'll be like, okay, yeah. What does it mean to if the attack hits or not? And then you can just go straight down to 
hit confirm. You would have come across this if you just kept playing. But for this example's sake, it's right here. So let's do, oh Lord, hit confirm in the air. <laughs> so I'll tell you something for free. I'm horrible at confirming hits. I just kind of go over the flow. So he's just gonna block the move, basically. He's gonna block or get hit. And if he gets hit, you need to do the special move. So you need to do Bandit Revolver when it does connect. I'm so bad at hit confirming. Okay, there's one. Nope, so he blocked it, so you don't do it there. No, don't do it there either. Whoops, wrong input. <laughs> There you go. It teaches you to how to get ready and how to look out for if you should go into a special cancel, basically. Practice until you are able to confirm your attacks during a block string and perform different special moves according to the situation. When your attack is blocked, link it into a move that leaves you in advantage. You'll be like, what, what is an advantage? See, this is what I'm talking about. What is an advantage? If you go to mission select, let's go over one and I think it is over here. Frame advantage. You know what I mean? So things like this, it teaches you everything. It doesn't just say, okay, here's how to do a combo. Do the combo in the game. But it's like, what does, what does everything mean? Because as you can see from the special cancel, it's taking us all the way here to frame advantage, which it, I just think is crazy. So frame advantage, I'm not going to do this one. So yeah, we're not going to do this frame advantage one, but you see what I mean? It teaches you so much. So let's go to mission select one other thing as well say for example you are struggling with soul your soul he's battering you you just can't beat soul you put it on very hard or extreme difficulty one thing you can do is here you just have you have character matchups so if the fafnir if soul's fafnir is is wrecking you it teaches you how to counter fafnir which i think is sick and then also, if Fafnir is not the one that's giving you problems, if it's Night Raid Vortex giving you problems, you learn the counter measures for that as well. You understand? Like things like that, I think are amazing. In total, there are 121 different missions to learn, which is insane. Obviously, you will not need every single one of these, but it doesn't matter what skill level you are, you will find something in here that benefits you. 121 missions is a lot of knowledge to take in and you won't grasp it all straight away. My recommendation is to play a section in the missions, then go and play a few matches to practice what you've learned. Once you're comfortable, move on to the next section in the missions dojo and that's it theory practice theory practice the thing about it is everything you've learned here apart from the game's specific features like roman cancels and wall breaks are translatable to other fighting games meaning you can take a lot of what you've learned here in guilty gear away with you proper explanation is always important in video games it makes them more accessible which means more people can play the game and the more the merrier and I hope a lot of people see this and give fighting games like Guilty Gear a go now that this feature's built in just like this one. Anyways, if you see me online, be worried because I've been studying the game and I'm an absolute savage. I'm joking. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you see when we post and upload more videos. My name is Durani from VG247. Peace out everyone.